All right, this is second grade, module three, lesson two. And in this lesson, students are going to continue counting, imagining those bundles of popsicle sticks. They're either in units, you know, popsicle sticks all by themselves. They're in bundles of 10, or you have 10 tens bundled together to be 100. All right, and we really want our students to be thinking about numbers in terms of these bundles at this point. We're trying to make the, the place value system a physical representation. Uh, students are going to be counting up and for, up and down between 100, 220, right around there. And the idea is we're trying to just let students practice thinking about numbers. Now, because we want to make it physical, it means you're going to have to have some sort of manipulatives. In the last video, I talked about popsicle sticks, uh, pretty darn cheap. Here's another example. Right here, uh, you can see, you get those little coffee stirrers. Again, this is an Amazon Prime special, $3.50, and you get a thousand of them. What's really cool about these is they're straws, they're plastic, so they're cheap, uh, but they're flat, so they don't roll off the table. So to get started, you might start off, you know, pre, uh, before the kids show up into the classroom, you're going to prep a whole bunch of these bundles, uh, bundles of hundreds, bundles of tens, and then your unit popsicle sticks, uh, popsicle sticks all by themselves. And what you can do with your students is you can lay out one of these big old bundles and you have the students count or you ask the, the question, how many popsicle sticks do we have? And the idea is students could say we have 100, but they also might say we have 10 tens, or they might say we have 100 units. And that's a funky looking 100 there, 100 units. And in, in this case, all three of these answers work because when we're talking about this guy, it is one bundle of a hundred, but it's also ten bundles of tens, or it could be a hundred of these individual units down here. We have a hundred of these individual ones. So the idea is you lay it out and you say, how much do we have? We have a hundred. And then you could take out another one, a bundle of, of tens, and say, well, how many do we have now? In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of, now this is not at all what Eureka Math is saying, but I'm going to just, here's my bundle of hundreds, here's my bundles of tens, and here's my bundles of ones. I'm doing that just to kind of be organized nice and neat uh, with my video, uh, but really uh, I, might, I might just kind of do that to help organize myself. You know, really what I might do is create um, like get shoe boxes so that I can store my my numbers in these shoe boxes. Um, so anyway, so I have right here a hundred plus I have a ten. So I might take out another one. Now how much do we have? A hundred and twenty. All right. Now how much do we have? A hundred and thirty. Okay, let's do this. How much do we have now? Ooh, a hundred and thirty-three. So you know you get the idea. Of you could just kind of keep going and say, all right, well, let's keep going. And that's 134, 135, I'll put that right there, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140. Oh, but now we could say, now that we have these 10 units, right, we can bundle those together and we can bundle them together and we could get a 10, but it's not going to sit here. It's going to bundle and sit over here in the tens bucket. All right. So the idea is just to be playing with these numbers and count, count up another 10, another 10. So now we have a hundred, a hundred, and we have, what is this? 160, or you could just take a few more here. Oh, now we have 160. Two. The idea is to be playing with these numbers in a physical way so that students get experience with the meaning of these numbers and the meaning of these place values. And then we're going to put it in practice with some homework. I kind of chose these because it's not entirely clear, you know, what this stuff is, especially for, you know, parents and teachers who were not raised being taught this way. In fact, really hardly anybody in the United States were taught this way.
But let's count. So we see 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. And then we have another 10, another 10, and another 10. So one thing we can think of is we could say we have four 10s. Or we could count them individually. And if we were to count them individually, we would know that we have 40 ones. And we want students to be recognizing that 40 ones is the same thing as four tens. Um, and then what is this? This is 40 stars in all. So parents and teachers, you might be a little confused. What's the difference between 40 ones and 40 stars? Well, at this point, there's not a lot of difference. This is saying you have 40 copies of one star. And so that means you have 40 stars. And that's really the idea is to be getting our students thinking about bundles and relating those bundles of 10 to individual stars or unit stars. Down here, these are bundles of 10. So you have 10, 10, 10, 10, etc. So let's count. So you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. So these guys right here, that makes 100. And then we have 40 left over. So how many tens are there? Well, we could count. We have 10 tens, 11, 12, 13, 14. So we had 14 tens. How many hundreds does that make? Well, that made just one hundred. And how many sticks in all? Well, all together, we had 140 sticks. So parents and teachers, at this point, students, students might be kind of stumbling over what all this stuff is. Don't panic. The lessons, the future lessons, are really kind of incrementally different, and they review. So you do not have to wait uh, until every single student understands before moving on to the next lesson, because the lessons are kind of uh, iterative, and they, they review each other, and they kind of spiral. So don't worry. Let the process teach it. Uh, let the process work, and move on, assuming students are totally confused. But it's okay if there's a little bit of confusion, because this is pretty funky stuff. So I chose this slide because... It says, Sally did some counting. Look at her work. Explain why you think Sally counted this way. And, and at this point in the game, I don't think our second graders are going to know why she counted this way. I, don't, I think this question is a little premature. So really what I would do is I would start with number four first. Show a way to count from 68 to 130 using tens and ones. So what I would do is I'd say, okay, well, let's start with 68. And then we go 69, 70. And then I'd start counting my tens. 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130. Now, why did I choose to count this way? Well, I chose to count this way because I wanted to count by ones so that I can get to a nice bundle of 10. And then once I have a nice bundle of 10, I'm going to count up by 10s, my bundles of 10s. So that's the idea of what they want us to be thinking about. And really, now we can go back and look at question 3, and we can say, well, what did she do? Well, she started at 177. She counted by 1s until she got to a nice bundle of 10. And then she started counting by 10s. And then to right here. And then all of a sudden, she started counting by ones again. And that's perfectly fine. The idea is she counted by ones, and then she counted by tens, and then she counted by ones again. And that's the idea. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 2, where students are just practicing counting up and down between 100 and 220 using those bundles.